there are indications that uh, the opposition Labour Party is leading at this point in time. If they come to power, they have said that they will implement changes to the mandate of the central bank. What's your view on that? Is that a good thing? Well, I mean, I think um, the, what they've said at the moment um, is they want employment to have more of a focus in the mandate uh, alongside inflation. Um, the Reserve Bank already does uh, take employment into account. So um, I think there's probably uh, uh, merit in, in the issue that they've made. On the other hand, I don't think it'll significantly change um, the work that actually happens, that the Reserve Bank actually does when it considers uh, interest rate decisions. So you're not too concerned about the recommendation made by the Labour Party? Not particularly. Obviously, we'll need to wait and see exactly what happens and what's put in, in legislation and what might uh, turn out in the actual mandate itself. But at the moment, I, I'm, I'm not that concerned, no. The issue is interest rates. Right now, the governor decides the movement of the interest rates. Yep. And the Labour Party is also suggesting that perhaps a committee should be formed and that committee should include external parties, external experts. Um, how do you see that panning out? Well, I think and what are the implications of that? Sure. I mean, the, uh, New Zealand was one of the first countries to have a central bank that, made, uh, that was made independent. Um, and uh, the model that we've got has probably now uh, been... Uh, well, we've seen other banks around the world use committee-based systems to make decisions. And the current governor has, in fact, set up his own committee. Um, internal committee to make decisions, even though legally it's, it's his uh, accountability on the decision. So I think there's a definitely merit in having a committee and legislating for it and uh, in many ways modernizing the Act. Uh, having externals, um, I think it all depends on the detail of what you'd expect them to do, whether they'd work full-time, whether they'd work part-time, what, uh, what their own mandates would be. So there are different experiences around the world. The United Kingdom's the most obvious. Um, and again, that would be something to look at in detail. But I think the Treasury would be supportive of legislating a committee. Would a reversal reflect disappointment in the current system and the current governor? I, d I don't think so, because the current... Uh, the current governor, you mean in terms of the decision making? Yes. Because, no, I think the, the current governor himself has recognised that committee based decisions are probably better than him doing them on his own, and he's had the system in place now for most of his term. So I don't think uh, that would be at all. I mean, I think it's just a, a reflection of uh, best practice around the world. The Commission, the Treasury itself has commissioned a study. Yep. What has it recommended? Well, we haven't finished uh, that particular work. Where it's um, it's uh, it's been an, that that study is an input into our thinking, and uh, we're looking to complete our own thinking in the next few months. What is the thinking currently? What's your well, own the, the, thinking? The, the thinking is essentially that a committee-based uh, decision making um, is uh, something that we should do, but how you'd structure it, what its precise mandates would be, that's something that we still want to. Uh, we're still considering. Is it then fair to say that regardless of the outcome of the election, these changes might be pushed through? Well, I, I mean, I certainly uh, the, the election, um, th these issues will be considered by whoever forms a new government. Um, uh, obviously, uh, the, uh, it'll be a decision for the new government to make as to whether or not they want to uh, change anything. What are the views of the Treasury where interest rates are concerned, where do you sit on when rate hikes should be done? This is a very easy question because uh, <laughs> what the Treasury does is say this is the Reserve Bank's job and we let the Governor and his team um, come to their own view and we don't try and second guess them. But the Treasury has already said it expects that to happen in mid-2018, a year pretty much uh, before the Central Bank does. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's, a, that's, that's the forecast we're making. For what, uh, for what may happen, uh, but we're not saying that is what the bank should do. We, uh, we actually want the bank to make the best decision possible and we leave them to do it. Are you optimistic about inflation and where inflation is headed? Well, at the moment, uh, the most important thing for us is price stability. And, uh, and that's what we've got. And we've got, uh, unlike a lot of other countries around the world, we have got some inflation. Um, we've, uh, we've got positive interest rates um, and critically we've got price stability so that's the most important thing for us.